Okay, Needle Through Brick was a very, very interesting documentary about the martial arts of, of Southeast Asia. <clears throat> now, a lot of it focused, of course, on the Chinese martial arts. And they showed lots of the people who are current grandmasters in their very specific styles. And how difficult it was, because there was a time when everybody trained in some form of the martial arts. Then you had the people who were very dedicated and spent almost their entire lives to mastering a martial art. And how it was very much a, a Chinese thing to do. And then all of a sudden you kind of had, you know, then once communism showed up, they kind of pushed a lot of that aside and had to be trained more or less in secret. And nowadays, some people don't have the, the discipline to really want to learn some of these martial arts styles. And they even show some of the grandmasters doing some of the work. They show a guy, I want to say he was like in his his late 70s, who, the routine that he was doing, he was throwing some fists and some punches that were like Jet Li fast. He was a blur. And I'm watching going, whoa, this, this is a grandpa, probably a great grandpa, with a tremendous amount of skill, and it looks just effortless and flawless as he's doing this, and he's a blur as he's doing his moves. It was a very unique way of looking at this with people who are masters in their specific art who were like, well, you know, people nowadays, like lots of the young Chinese, they want to do things that are more American. You know, the American culture has kind of pervaded its way through. One person was talking about, well, you know, his average disciple, he won't really begin training them until about maybe five to ten years. The idea being that you want to make sure there's a level of discipline if you're willing to do this every single day and to devote your life specifically to one craft, as opposed to, I just want to learn to be kind of fun and kind of flowy. They also discuss a little bit when it came to the, the practice of wushu, and how that also became like a national sport, but the problem ends up being is you can be really good at it, but there's an age cutoff. After that age cutoff, there's kind of a void. So you have an interest in the martial arts, and you're Chinese, and you're really good at wushu, which is a very flowy almost more artistic style as opposed to what most martial arts ends up being is just a very almost brunt I'm going to defeat my opponent sort of scenario. So then people who are really good and have great level of dedication in the martial arts kind of get dropped off all of a sudden because there really is nothing else to do because the state really won't sponsor them. A very interesting look at this. You know, a very unique documentary. 